Since they implemented this on a planetary scale in 96, the Earth has gotten 20% darker, according to NASA. You can Google that term. And it shows all the jet trails. Jet trails didn't start condensating and staying for more than a few minutes till the mid-90s. We had this tested. Many mainline news groups did. You know, mainstream news did and said it's barium salt lumen dioxide. The government said none of it exists. You're crazy. Ice trails now form at 2,000 feet in the middle of the summer, which they don't. Then, suddenly starting three months ago, Obama's top science advisor, uh, this gentleman, John P. Holdren, calling for the forced sterilization, the spraying, the putting stuff in the water and the food to sterilize us, he comes out in AP. In fact, Google this for people on screen at PrisonPlanet.tv. For everybody else out there listening on the radio, Google this for yourself. Uh, Obama's science advisor says, terraform Earth to stop global warming, or says, uh, Obama science chief says, says uh, release pollutants to cool Earth. You'll get AP Reuters, all of it. But the issue is, then they come out in the Wall Street Journal and say it's time to cool the planet and say barium salts, aluminum dioxide, exactly what we've been saying they've been spraying. So where are these crazies making this up? Now they come out and go, oh, we have been having thousands of universities and Department of Energy and other governments have been spraying since the early 90s as a test. All of this testing spraying deadly chemicals on us that just so happen to cause Alzheimer's, other degenerative neuro diseases with the neurons uh, in the brain and, and, and the rest of the body, the, the, the entire nervous system, central nervous and the general nervous system. Now exactly what we said they were doing is what they've announced, but it was only a test. The real program is about to begin, and Atlantic Monthly comes out with images of giant blimps changing the entire atmosphere, which the climatologists say, and the weather warriors we've had on, like Ben Livingston, the father of weather weapons, saying this will actually destroy the uh, environment. So they're actually going to screw things up so there is a global meltdown so people can have crops with controlled droughts and floods to then say, see, we got to have a world government for the floods and droughts they created. These guys are problem, reaction, solution terrorists. They create the crises to offer the solution. Aaron Dykes. Yeah, and Bertrand Russell says in the same quote that these international authorities will control food and if the population of one nation should go up, they're going to reciprocate by withholding food. You see, so they're going to control populations through food. Which is the GMO, which they continue to study the GMO, and they've manipulated and changed genes of the plants to create chemicals that sterilize all mammal species. And so, again, the sperm count's plunged by over 80%. Women are infertile by over 80%. They're already doing it. We are now under attack. But that's fine if... AIDS is engineered... That's fine if humans are uh, hurt by barium salts, aluminum oxide, and this other stuff. Because climate change, remember, as they said in the Club of Rome quote, is just the symptom. It's humanity that's the problem. And they said, the head of the CFR while writing for the Club of Rome in 1992, Richard N. Haas, said it's a double pincer. Stage terror will be used for the police state to build it, but that police state's really to carry out the forced sterilizations and the green tax and the new home inspections and the control. Okay, the other side of the pincer is the environmental movement and is the new priesthood. And they found the article with him the first time he had a meeting with the press. He said, we got to terraform the planet. Keep going, Aaron. I'm trying to find the blimp image. Well, it's just that his very quotes say they're going to seize the children and that the parents will have to then go apply to be parents, basically. That's it. That's it's Nazi Germany. It's pre-crime. And Obama says everybody's going to be under pre-crime now. And the New Freedom Initiative says all kids will be drugged and all kids will basically be taken. And everybody who does Head Start gets three CPS visits a year. And they're making trying to make Head Start mandatory now. When we get back, I'm going to find the... Here it is. The Kim Trail. Moving heaven and earth. Here it is in Atlantic Monthly saying they're going to have giant blimps surveilling us and chemtrailing us. I mean, they're heading us hard, and then the yuppies have been preconditioned that none of this exists, so they can't even resist. Stay with us. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, uh, something else you can uh, go search engine and pull up. It was President Bush's task force that he uh, set up on the environment. And it was headed up, among other people, by Paul Ehrlich, founder of Zero Population Growth, who is one of the people that wrote the book, uh, 
with this individual, Obama's chief science advisor, John P. Holdren. So the co-author of the book, the government textbook about forced sterilization, forced abortion, world government, carbon taxes to control us, he's George Bush's advisor. See, I mean, that's my point, is it's all these people. This is the program. This is what the shadow government works on. This is what they do. And I showed you the Times of London with David Rockefeller, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, uh, all these other people, quote, meeting in secret. Rich meet in secret to discuss population reduction. <clears throat> this is what they're setting up. This is what they're doing. And all I can do is beg the listeners out there to warn people and to get the word out to everybody and to make this a big issue. You know, they say, oh, trust the government, take vaccines. The government that was caught giving black men syphilis and letting them die of it over 45 years, a government that was caught radiating 4,000-plus U.S. foster children to death in radiation tests, a government in Project Shad that killed hundreds and hundreds of U.S. soldiers with chemicals, biologicals, and radiologicals, knowing it would kill them, and they did that to create cadres of killers. When I showed in Game Blueprint for Global Enslavement, in Austin, Texas, at Alamo Draft House on South Lamar two years ago, one of the chief people in Rick Perry's office showed up. And he said, I heard Rick Perry's in the film. I'm a listener of the show. I wanted to see it because it was about part of it's about Rick Perry going to Bilderberg, just a, five minutes of it. And he said, I want you to know that 14 years ago, I was at Fort Sam Houston down in uh, San Antonio as a medic. And they brought in these special forces troops. They gave them shots, and three days later, they were all dead. We had to put on decon suits, go in, spray chemicals everywhere, strip out the entire barracks. And he said, I know this stuff's real. Folks, psychopathic control freak killers are running our government and our society. Now, I know we have Dr. Kelly, that's what the caller's calling themselves, Al, Chris, Jeff, Paul, Tom, Ronnie, Rob, Ed, and others. Here's what's going to happen. We're on the AM and FM dial for another seven and a half minutes right now. Then the show ends. But internet only at prisonplanet.tv and on the free streams at infowars.com, I'm going to do ten minutes only because I got other stuff I got to do in meetings and some of my guys got to go to family barbecues and stuff. So we're going to do ten minutes to take the rest of your calls. What's funny about that? It's true. You guys said you had to go to barbecue. It's very al qaeda -ish. You know, we're evil going to barbecues. We're not putting poison in your water. You know, we got to have a world government. we got to have a police state because Al-Qaeda might put poisons in the water. Meanwhile, the head of Obama's uh, whole water program is saying poison the water. This is what's covered in my film Endgame. But his new textbook is out. What these psychopaths believe in is out. Now, this played on ABC, and I can't find it anywhere on YouTube, so we're going to play a clip of it here for you. Because I showed you the Times of London headline where the, where the elite were meeting in secret for world population reduction. Now, that was in the British news. Times of London, London Guardian both reported it. In the U.S., it was just, oh, the rich people are meeting in secret to talk about helping black people. Oh, isn't it sweet? And they show some black people. And I, oh, sweet. I wonder why 45% of them in those countries have HIV. Oh, Bill Gates has a shot for them. His dad heads Planned Parenthood, and Bill Gates is a eugenicist on record. Oh, and Diane Sawyer's how sweet these rich people are. And Oprah cares too. Oh, hold on. You heard her. The price of admissions is a billion dollars and a big heart. It's so sweet. They've given over a hundred billion dollars. Over last time I checked, it was over sixty-five with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Warren Buffett alone for this eugenics foundation. And the foundation is how to release uh, mosquitoes with vaccine in them so you can't escape. And then you, of course, you get the shot and suddenly you can't have kids and you got HIV. Oh, oh, it's so sweet. But see, this newscast doesn't tell you. It's so, they're sweet. It's called the Good Group. ABC News article goes, it's the Good Group. They, and, and Bill Gates is always posing like, in every picture, it's, oh, oh, my daddy heads up Planned Parenthood and was in an army black ops. 
I'm an IBM front company for the Eugenics Trust set up by Mr. Watson when he died, the admirer of Hitler in 54. I'm an IBM front for eugenics. Ah, I gave, you know, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars total for to, to, to help the blacks. Oh. I'm Bill Gates. Together with oh, others Batman, at the meeting. Robin, Aquaman, oh, the Justice Friends, the Justice League, all these eugenicists. And maybe Oprah Winfrey's a useful idiot they're trying to suck in, but she's involved in all this weird new age world government crap as well. But this is so sick. I mean, I know these two are top eugenicists, Buffett and, uh, and uh, Gates. And they also show David Rockefeller as the Flash. He's got a, a lightning bolt on his chest, which is fitting. I mean, it's in the Encyclopedia Britannica, under eugenics, it says the Rockefeller family started it, funded Hitler, run the human genome. It's them, baby.